Hey friends, if you want to know how to save annotation in flex paper, then you are watching the right video. Firstly, you have to know what are bin files that should be added for the PDF viewer. These four files are must. Then there should be PDF process.cs file that should be inside app data folder. It will split any PDF into individual PDF pages and PNG pages. That will be saved inside doc folder. This is my main startup PDF viewer page. Here I will be calling PDF process function. In my design page, you have to specify all these CSS and JS files. In config, you have to specify your license key. And later you can run and check the output. So we got the PDF file. Now next is to give annotation to it. For that we have to go to the Flex Paper website. Downloads. And here we have to go to Flex Paper Classic for annotation and download annotation web server package. So we got this zip file. We have to extract it. We already extracted. That is this. So we have to add this file to our project. Next, I'll tell you which general files to be added. First is app code file, which contain the CS files that should be added in our project. Next is config. Here we'll be writing the connection string details. CS file, which we already have it, we can replace it. Then it's image, where we have the toolbar images for annotation. Next is JS file, that to be added in our project. Next is very important one, that is service. It contains the annotation details, like create annotation, delete and update the annotations. Files. So these files we have to add first to our project. Six files we already in our project. That is this. First is create more. You can see. Here we specify the connection string and here is the command to insert the annotation in the, in the database. Then next is delete one here. Again here it is the connection string and here is the query for, uh, to delete the annotation. Next to update here is the query for that. So these are the main file folders that should be added inside this. So next what we have to see is config. Inside config.xml that is specify our connection string here. Then in config.let.xml also we have to specify our connection string. So next what we have to add is annotation handler. That is, it is for displaying the annotation in our PDF. It, here we will be retrieving the value from database. You can see. Here we will be specifying the provider name. Here is the connection string. Then here are the marks we are specifying. For note, for highlight and strike here. Next is drawing here. So next is we have to add this Java queries to our JS file that is onmarkcreate, onmarkdelete and onmarkchange. 
inside javascript flexpaperhandler.js it will be specified at end you have to copy this code there after this in our startup page that is pdf here we have to add some code in the script that is says this is already specified in simple document file we can check it out here then next files which we have to add is this html this is these are the toolbars which we used in our flex paper as here um, next what we have to add is on that config we have to add the configuration then we have to add the flex paper here .swf also ok after this when you run it you run it like this to highlight highlight and see you can draw also You can hide the annotations in the browser. So, to now, you can hide the annotation, you can check in database. So, we can check in in our database. Before that, it was empty. Now we can see we had a few things. So it's saving in our database. You can see here. So You can see one was not, one was strikeout, one was highlight, and one is drawing. So it's saving in database. You can refresh and see also. So there. You can check like this also by inserting element. That is by going to console and like this You can see all the mark list like this. If you want to see only one, then you can write like this and check it. You get the ID here. This ID will be very better also. Thank you. Well, restore it. So next we can see delete. You can delete the annotation. You can select delete it. So it's deleted. We can refresh and see. It's deleted from here. We can check in database also if you want. It's deleted from here also. Then next we can check for update. 
here we have written hello you can write hello friends you can see whether before that it was hello now we can check or it is this hello friends change here we can do question so that's working so that's all for now i hope you understood how to do it if any question any reviews anything is there you can ask us thanks for watching the video